couple years removed from a year where they did not meet because of COVID, and here we are two years later. This rivalry is back. It was back last year. It's still here today. This is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, though, if you're a South Carolina fan, you're kind of in the wrong. Um, the Palmetto Bowl is a it, it's a good rivalry in college football. Um, you know, the Clemson leads the series all time, owns South Carolina. Just call it what it is. They've met 118 times. Clemson leads it 72, 42, and 4. Uh, this dates back a very, uh, very long time. A very long time. Uh, it goes back all the way even into like World War II and World War I. Um, you know, so um, it's, you know, it goes back to 1896 back in Columbia, South Carolina, where South Carolina won 12 to 6. Uh, this is not, you know, 1896, obviously. This is uh, 2022, and, um, you know, this is this is going to be a good game. So let's break down what ESPN has to say as far as the FPI matchup predictor. We just had the rankings released. Clemson's at number eight. South Carolina is unranked in this game at Memorial Stadium this year. Uh, Clemson has an 88.9% chance to win leaving South Carolina with a 11.1% chance to win. However, you give South Carolina some credit. Does the Tennessee upset, does that victory for the Gamecocks, does it cause some momentum? Does it help drive them going forward? Do they get to yet uh, eight win season? You know, can they pull another upset over a top 10 team? Uh, this week would be in Clemson, uh, who's number eight. You know, can they do it again? I think it's a good possibility, but I also would be surprised if it happened. You know, I think that, you know, anything's possible in a rivalry game. I think anything's possible um, in college football. You know, you have to go back. Even when Clemson was down, uh, they have not won. They're, it's been almost – a decade. You have to go back to November 30th, 2013, when South Carolina was number 10 in the country and they won in Columbia uh, 31 to 17. And again, Clemson does own the series. Uh, they're on a seven game win streak right now over South Carolina. This game in Clemson this year on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. It's a noon kickoff on ABC just before games like the Iron Bowl, but it does come on at the same time as uh, the game with Ohio State and Michigan. Uh, I'll say this. I do think Clemson has the advantage. I think they're a better program. I think they're a better team. Now, is South Carolina doing some things this year? Oh, yeah, they're looking pretty good. They're, they're bowl eligible. If they lose, they'll be seven and five, which is basically what they've been the past couple of years. Remember last year, I think they went seven and five and made the um, the Duke's Mayo Bowl. They'd be in that position again with a loss. Um, you know, You know, you look at this game, too, you look at these stats. Uh, believe it or not, as good as Clemson's defense is, when you look at the stats, and I don't know if it's competition. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there was just this one game for Clemson or a certain game for South Carolina. I don't know what's played a factor into this. But let me zoom in just a little bit here. we got to look at this. Okay, passing yards allowed. South Carolina has allowed 208 passing yards, whereas Clemson has allowed 214. 
uh, clearly, if you want to base it off the numbers, if you want to base it off numbers, um, South Carolina has the edge probably in the secondary, right? If we're going off numbers. I don't believe that these numbers mean much. I mean, it shows stats. It shows that. I think Clemson is more talented, obviously, on defense. I know that they lost Brent Venables uh, to Oklahoma, and that's a tough loss for them. But they got a lot of great talent. They still recruit really well. They got R.J. Mickens, who leads the team in interceptions at two. Jeremiah Trotter um, is the linebacker uh, with 63 tackles. Trenton Simpson, Jalen Phillips, Barrett Carter, Andrew uh, uh, Mukuba, if I'm saying that right, K.J. Henry came back, Miles Murphy, Tyler Venables, Tyler Davis, Sheridan D- uh, Jones. I mean, I could go down the list of some of these uh, amazing and talented defensive backs and, and starters for uh, for the Tigers. So, I, I mean – There's definitely an advantage talent-wise, but South Carolina has been battle-tested against some SEC offenses, and they've looked pretty good under some pressure at at times this year. So I don't know what to expect. Um, You know, I see you back there. Uh, We'll get you in a second in the back room. Um, You know, I I don't know what to expect. Uh, in this game, other than I expect Clemson to win. Um, so, you know, again, expect Clemson to win. Expect them to probably win big. Um, and that being said, That being said, I I don't know what to expect other than I got Clemson winning. Um, the spread is fourteen and a half uh, in favor of the Tigers. The only thing is, are they going to cover? And quite honestly, I think they will. I could be wrong about this score, but give me Clemson big here. Give me Clemson thirty eight twenty one over the Gamecocks. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm overlooking something. I don't know. But, I mean, Clemson's only given up 20 points a game on average. Um, and South Carolina's scoring 31. Clemson's scoring 34. Uh, South Carolina's given up 27. Maybe I'm giving Clemson too many points. South Carolina around 21. Maybe that sounds right. But I'm going to go 38-21 in the Palmetto Bowl in favor of the Tigers. Give me Dabo Swinney and Clemson to beat Shane Beamer and the South Carolina Gamecocks.